Okay, so we're going to talk about a chest x-ray of a patient who is having COPD. Before taking any uh, x-ray of the patient, you have to always confirm it with the clinical history. So the patient might be giving a history of uh, difficulty in breathing, catching of breath, tightness of the chest, uh, mucus production, sputum production, and coughing, wheezing will be there, right? And uh, again, if you do the clinical uh, examination, the patient will be having, you know, sitting in a tripod position, wheezing, wheezing might be there we is not able to speak very fast is coughing mucus is produ produced purse lip tripod position all these things will be there right so uh, whenever you see the x-ray of this patient uh, always 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 uh, see for the clinical history and the examination which will help you to clean the diagnosis okay so when you see here if you see the right side of the lung you know here uh, you're having the liver around here so liver is going to push up but this is an hyperinflated lungs. That's why it has been pushed down. This is known as flattening of the dome, right? It's around 1.5 to 2 up. It is upward. So there's always a gap between this, okay? The next thing that you have to see is the shape of the heart. It's been tubular heart. The next thing that you're going to see is the color of the lungs in the first place. You see, if you compare it with a normal lung, this is appearing as more, more, more darker. Now, if you see it very carefully, you might be able to see a bulla kind of st structure. Bulla can also be seen. So these are the things that generally you are going to see with the patient of COPD. And remember, COPD is diagnosed in many ways with the help of uh, x-rays, with the help of clinical features and certain kind of tests. Thank you.